Hello everyone, Air here, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to build Fischl. So, before we go into the gears, let's look at our constellation and talents first. So constellation 1 here is Gaze of the Deep. So this one is really important, this is where you make her really really strong. It's when Oz is the bird, when the bird is not present but he'll still be able to shoot with her. Just like in this clip. Like you can see in the clip, she's shooting two arrows at the same time with the bird. Okay, second here is Knight Rider is used. It deals an additional 200% attack as damage and its AoE is increased by 50%. This is the elemental skill. So this is just raising the cap of the elemental skill. And this is the elemental burst. So this one is really good. Unfortunately, I don't have it unlocked yet, but if I do, it's going to be great. So when your Q is used, it deals 222% of attack as electro damage to the surrounding enemy. And when this thing ends, when the bird is gone, fish show regenerates 20% off her HP. And this only increases the cap of the elemental burst. Okay, last constellation we have here is increase the duration of all summoning by two seconds. So she's uh, the burst stays there longer. And all attacks with this current character when present during 30% official attack is electro damage. So more chance of de de dealing with uh, electro damage. It's really weird because when you summon the bird the first hit for sure is electro damage. Sometimes the rest of the, not the rest, maybe um, it shoots like four of them, but not all of them is electro damage. I don't know if it's a bug or I tested in rainy days, I tested against um, ice enemies, but I wouldn't probably every time. And here's an example. Okay, now we're gonna look at her talents here. Her damage is quite high, her auto, as you can see here. Aim shot is uh, mediocre. Fully charged aim shot, not bad. Jump attack is weak. Okay, now we look at Knight Rider. This is your elemental skill. The bird, when it's on the battlefield, deals this much damage, that's a lot. And the summoning damage is an AoE. This is also very damaging. Alteration. So the burst stays on the battlefield for 10 seconds. The cooldown is 25 seconds. Even though the cooldown is 25 seconds, if you th consider the bird being on the battlefield, that's minus 10 seconds, so 15 seconds. So this the Q here, 239% um, damage. That's a lot. The cooldown is not very high at all. Energy cost is average, 15 seconds. Okay, this is something that almost all the official forgets official players so when the bird is on the battlefield when you fully charge an aim shot a lightning shot an electro shot and they shoot at the bird then it deals this much damage people are not taking advantage of it. it deals a lot of damage and this is an example of when you use this stellar predator Okay, so if a character triggers an electro-related elemental reaction when Oz is on the field, which means, um, for example, Superconda, Overloaded, the enemy shall be stricken with Thundering Retribution. So they'll take even more damage when you deal Overload, like electro-related combination. Okay, last one here is whatever. It just reduces the expedition time by 25%. Okay, DPS build for Fischl. You first you want attack, flat and attack percentage. That's your first priority. And then second you want critical rate. Third is physical damage bonus. Physical damage bonus is your white damage, nothing elemental related. So physical damage bonus is the multiplier of your whole attack status. 
last but not least, critical damage. But one thing you have to be aware is that a lot of people build a lot of critical damage and they have no critical rate. If the crit rate is too low, the chances of dealing critical damage is you know, irrelevant. So make sure you have a high enough critical rate before you build critical damage. Okay, next we have support build. If you decide to only use her elemental skill or elemental burst as your main damage resource, um, you only want to use her to deal elemental reaction, then this is the build I recommend. You will want to look for attack status. Second will be elemental mastery. And next will be ele electro damage bonus. And last but not least, energy recharge. For both DPS build and support build, these are the stats that you should look for in your artifacts. And now let me recommend you guys some weapon and artifacts. Okay, recommended weapon. These both are five stars weapon. Amos bow, I think it's okay. It's not like the best, but it's still a five star bow. If you do have it, I would say it's better than majority of the four star bow since it does increases your um, normal attack damage. Okay, the next one here is a Sky Ward Harp here. I think this one's really good only if you have really high crit rate since it increases your critical damage and the bonus effect on this bow is great 60 percent chance to inflict a small aoe attack dealing 125 percent physical attack damage can only occur once every four seconds this is the first refinement when you have it at max refinement rank 5 is 100 percent chance to inflict a small aoe attack so i would say this is one of our best bow now let's take a look at the four stars bow okay we have russ here i think this is her best four star bow in my opinion because she doesn't really do aim shot so right here it says increases normal attack damage by 40 percent 80 percent when it's rank five but decreases aim shot damage by 10 percent she doesn't really use use um aim shot aim shot is not her strength because she shoots really fast especially when you have constellation one unlocked compound bow is not bad because it increases both her normal attack and aim shot attack and also increases her attack speed for six seconds and it can be stacked last but not least we have black cliff war bow this bow four star wise i think this one gives you the most base attack damage um so this one i think is really good when your official is really really strong and you can always kill an enemy with it then this one will increase your attack damage for 30%, well, attack percent for 30%, and then it has three stacks. Okay, recommended artifacts. The first one we have is Martial Artist. So when you have two pieces, it increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 15%. This one's already really good because it increases attack. And then when you have four pieces, after using elemental skill, you always would summon the bird and then you attack with it. Increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 25% for 8 seconds. That's a really long time because the bird duration is 10 seconds. So 8 seconds is basically when the bird is, you know, going to be gone. And this one is especially good if you use Rust because Rust gives you at level 1 40% extra damage. Okay, next we have Gambler. When it's 2 pieces, elemental skill damage increased by 20%. Four pieces defeating an enemy has 100% chance to remove elemental skill cooldown. Can only occur once every 15 seconds. Okay, now remember when I talked about the elemental skill cooldown is 25 seconds, but the bird being on battlefield is 10 seconds. So there's a downtime of 15 seconds, or perhaps I should say the actual cooldown time is 15 seconds, which means here when I use this gambler four pieces, when I summon the bird, I kill someone, and now I can summon the bird again. Even though this one can only occur once every 15 seconds, like I said before, the actual cooldown, well, it's 25 seconds, but minus that 10 second duration of the bird being on the battlefield is 15 seconds. So I feel like you can constantly summon the bird with this set. Unfortunately, I don't have this set myself, so I couldn't test it, but from my understanding, it makes a lot of sense to, you know, Put this on her okay last but not least we have thundering furry two pieces electro damage bonus plus 15 percent four pieces increases damage caused by overloaded electro charged and superconduct damage by 40 percent triggering such effects 
decreases elemental skill cooldown by one second can only occur once every 0.8 seconds if you're going to do a support build official i think this is her best artifact because your purpose as a support official is just trying to do elemental reaction okay guys so that's it um before i let you guys go i'm going to show you guys my set and my gear i have rust myself it's great it gives a lot of base attack and attack percentage unfortunately i only have it at rank one artifact why is bad it's bad well first why i'm using berserker set is because this is one of the first four star hero i got and one of the first four star set that i got and if you look at the um, stats inside this artifact, it's pretty great. And I mean, crit rate increased by 12% is not bad. But honestly, this 12% can easily get it or find it from your artifacts. But for now, I'm using it, so my crit rate increases along with the substats. And then, oh my god, it just lagged. And then here again, I do have pretty good substats here that is why i'm using this set and i'm just waiting to get my gambler set then i will switch them off this one i definitely don't like it because of the defense however this is also one of the first um gladiator four star set that they have and this gives me quite a lot of attack percent flat attack and some critical damage but the Gladiator set itself is good because it gives attack plus 18%. I know a lot of people do um, two sets of artifact that gives you attack percentage. And then this is the same pretty much. I have this because of the attack main stats. And last but not least here, I do have another Gladiator. This also gives me a lot of attack percentage. But ideally, this is not what I want, but for now, it works. It does give me quite a lot, but I, I think once I change this, um, not this one here, this thing here to attack percentage, I should have around 2,000, and that would be good enough. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a better understanding of this character, and I hope my recommendation helped you build this character. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.